really good at <laughs> You pricks. Is this, is this even on? Why, do, why don't we have the camera on the guests? This is horrible. I brought these folks out all the way from Hollywood, California, just down the road. And uh, unfortunately, the powers that be have decided that they're not suitable to be seen on poolside chats. <laughs> Maybe if you guys had a facelift, huh? Then maybe they'd uh, put you on some sort of plastic surgery or something. We've got two guys who have been deemed by the United States government to be not suitable to be broadcast. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. Here we are. Mr. Tim and Mr. Eric. Thanks right? for having us, Neil. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for uh, coming out to Poolside so Chance. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Folks, I hate to say it, but... Uh, for anybody that's watching this show who has been a fan of Poolside Chance, we're canceling the show immediately and uh, bringing out a new show called Ice Side Chats because it is uh, out here. below freezing here tonight in Hollywood at 10 Apricot Lane. Are you guys cold? Cold and bright. And bitter. I've never been so bright and cold at the same time. Bright and cold. Yeah. It's just, ab it's absolutely uncomfortable. I wish the light that sh that's blinding me provided some kind of warmth, but it's Not just... Not gonna happen. It's just cold and bright. This is like, you know, when they talk about universes outside of the Milky Way, where oh, we yeah. all live, there are universes where people, where there are flames, but the flames are freezing cold. Right. That's, that's what it's like <laughs> for some of the outer like. space people. Yeah. I'll have whatever Eric's having then. I, Bring some God more drinks it. out I, here. Any kind of alcohol is going to make me not so cold, at least during the interview. Hot buttered rum. Mr. Tom Green, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to interrupt. I'm, just, I'm trying to get a light bulb back there changed so we can see the background a little better. Yeah, because it's beautiful. Yeah. This beautiful is a beautiful place. house you have. Your show to look good. Thanks for having us here in your beautiful pool, home. Ten Apricot Lane. Mind if I just... Uh, did Go you know ahead. that Kirk Douglas lives at 14 Apricot Lane, <laughs> where he continues to uh, molest children nightly? One of the great actors, but one of the truly despicable human beings, <laughs> Mr. Kirk Douglas. Ooh. All right. We've got Tim and Eric here tonight to talk about their new program, which is going to be airing shortly on the Adult Swim Network. We're expecting calls tonight. Is the phone not even plugged uh, in, you cocksuckers? You motherfuckers! I didn't know RCA you made... Pricks. I didn't realize RCA made phones. They make phones, they make uh, record players, they did all of Elvis's records, and they, uh, RCA Victor, his master's voice, has uh, unfortunately announced a new line of dildos, <laughs> which will... Uh, Tom... Uh, did you get one of the RCA dildos at the adult uh, convention that you went to? No, 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 no. Did you get syphilis at that convention? Uh, we're looking into it. Looking into it, okay. Just any kind of alcohol because of how cold it is. It's cold. This man needs a hot buttered rum. Or a huh? hot chocolate or something. Hot buttered hot buttered Just rum. A, a gin and tonic or something. Vodka tonic? A anything, yeah. Vodka tonic. Folks, this, I would, vodka tonic would be great. Yeah, I'll get you guys vodka. I would like to mention so that... Uh, it is Martin Luther King Day today, and that is why, to honor this great man and his accomplishments, we have white slaves bringing us drinks tonight. <laughs> so, nice uh, these Thank white you. slaves who are currently engaged in white slavery will be bringing us drinks throughout the night. What an honor. Here comes one now. One of the, oh. This is Mr. Fred Myra, the host of Prankity Pranks, also a great show on uh, the Tom Green Channel. Here you go. Thank you. So we've got uh, Tim and Eric here tonight. Do we have any calls for these guys? These are some of the greats of the uh, current entertainment scene. Wow. Would you guys agree with me that the current entertainment scene is uh, constipated, to say it's the at least? The, it's as low as we've seen it. And what can we do to solve that problem? We, we actually prefer it that way because then we actually look pretty awesome if everyone else is The really cream shitty. always rises yeah. to the top, huh? That's right. right up there. And recently, Mr. Tim and Mr. Eric worked with the great Gary Busey, star wow. of the Buddy Holly story. Wow. That's right. One of the one of the greats. And Despicable, you, but great. You had him on a, on your program on on Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Great job. We did. We actually really wanted to have him on the show, but he was on our last show. He Tom was on Goes Tom Goes to the Mayor. Yeah. Should we cut? I know we'll have some fans from that show calling in tonight, but. Uh, so, Mr. Busey was uh, not, he was not quite uh, gentlemanly, is That's that fair to say? Fair to say, yeah. I would, I mean, he was, 
I respected him because he was an honest guy. He came in, he took one look at the script, he said it was the worst writing he's ever read in his career in Hollywood. So it was a tough blow because we're young. A lot writers, of people don't have the honesty to share their real feelings with us. You know, they try to sugarcoat it. But um, he came right out front and said that he thought our writing was substandard and it was immature and it was not up to the standards that he, uh, you know, obviously, if you look at his movie career. Oh, yeah, he's in every to... shitty fucking movie that I have ever seen. Gary Busey is the absolute scum of the earth. He's a filthy, horrible man, and if he had died, the world would be a better place. Wow. But you guys... Oh, that's uh, not... We don't. We don't that's, why, that's, what, that's me opinion. talking. That's yeah, not right. you. I just Absolutely. want to say officially we can't say. Um, no, we'll we'll share that too. opinion. I, I will give you what they said. They said he was a wonderful man and a yes. great and a joy to work with. But it you know, is if we do it again, we, just, we can just do a two on that. Let's just do a two. It was just cut. A, cut. Let's. Uh, all right, we're going to take some calls. You know, we have some of the sickest people out there, the sickest people in the history of mankind, calling in. And in fact, if we could get a close up. Before this show goes any further, I would like to thank our sponsors tonight. Uh, you know, we only have one sponsor. We've tried to get two, but it won't work. We've got one sponsor, and it is so Gay Dude. Cigarettes. Gay Cigarettes, <laughs> a most wonderful brand, Gay Cigarettes. Folks, if you are a smoker, if you are not a smoker, Become a smoker because Gay Cigarettes is the greatest cigarette you could possibly smoke. Whether you are gay or straight or something in between or both, Gay Cigarettes will provide you with the cleanest lungs you have ever had. While they do tar your lungs up with nicotine and filth, at the same time these cigarettes will give you pleasure like you've never felt. <laughs> Orgasms have never been caused by smoking a cigarette until Gay Cigarettes was introduced to the market. Gay Cigarettes, proud sponsors of Poolside Chats with Neil Hamburger. Ladies and gentlemen, Gay Cigarettes, do buy a pack today of Gay Cigarettes. Thank you. This is a good product. I know. You know, a lot of times when you have to promote a product because they are sponsoring your show, you do so uh, sort of your tongue in cheek. You don't really believe right. in the product. But in this case, I believe 100% in Gay Cigarettes. This is a great cigarette. I mean, I would smoke one right now if I could, if because this is a great product. It is truly fantastic. Do you guys smoke? I, I quit. You quit. Start up again and smoke gay cigarettes. What a wonderful product and what a wonderful name for a cigarette. Gay cigarettes. Please, folks, I'm begging you on my knees, although I will not get on my knees on this show. It is degrading. But I am begging you to smoke gay cigarettes if you possibly can. All right, back to the show. Wow. Tim and Eric, we've got them here. we got some calls for you guys. All right. Do wow, we have right. a call screener tonight, or are we just stuck with these cocksuckers calling up with their filthy fucking language, huh? Let's see what we have. Poolside Chats, you're on the air with Tim and Eric. Hey, how's it going? I like them gay cigarettes. Yeah, I bet you do, you liar. What do you have to ask Tim and Eric? Well, uh... You know, Neil, I, I like you. I think you're a great guy. Uh, Neil and Eric, man, I'm looking forward to seeing your show. And uh, you I'm guys having, have a show together? Keeping up with the gay cigarettes. I don't have, I don't have a lot of good outlets to get gay cigarettes, and I'm just wondering where I could get those locally. It's called a riff on a bit. Well, where do you live? Well, I live in Virginia. You called Tom's show earlier. Yes, I did. I, I like Tom. He's a great guy. And he's a wonderful man, but. Uh... I think you've had your, your 15 minutes of fame, my friend. We're uh, keeping the lines open for folks who haven't already uh, been uh, rocketed into super stardom, so I'm afraid we're going to have to hang up on you. Poolside Chats with Tim and Eric and Neil Hamburger, you're on the air. What do you have to ask us? All right. Hey, you're not going to steal my role as Helen Keller in the Helen Keller story. I've got that wrapped up. These people call up and they're deaf and blind and dumb and the whole thing, and they think they can take my role, but I, 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 we already filmed the movie. Hello? Hello. Who are you? This is Cameron. Who is this? I don't like you. Wrong number. Poolside Chats. All right, this show is horrible. He's, he's got one. Folks, it has been officially decided by the Central Intelligence Agency, whose headquarters are in Langley, Virginia, Yes. that uh, this show is not uh, worth broadcasting. So, could you guys cut the cut this broadcast immediately? We'll do an early cut. Can we get some calls? Hey, uh, Robert.
Why isn't the phone number? That's Here's why we're not getting here. calls. There's no uh, the Here's phone one. number's not on. The, what is the phone number here? Can we get the fucking phone number? Pricks. What what is the number to call? 323-845-997. This is where the calls come in. Right. All right, you guys worked Here's recently. One. No, here we go. Well, it keeps, every left. time I look at it, it blinks. Because they call up and they're jerking off and then they ejaculate before we answer and then they hang up. Uh, you guys recently worked with Mr. Paul Rubens. How was Great that? Guy. What happened? What happened there? Well, we had him on our last show, Tom Goes to the Mayor, and we recently had him on the Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Great job. And he came in to do a pretty small part of singing as the moon. And he actually was a little, One line. A little disappointed that he got a small little part. Um, so we, we asked him if he would do another part, and it was a diarrhea commercial. Yeah. He, he turned it down because it was just... It was in bad taste. It was in bad taste. He felt like it was, it was in bad taste. It was understandable. I mean, it is a, it was, it's a diarrhea inducer commercial, and you rub a stick on your head, and that gives you diarrhea so you can take breaks from work. Um, so and Paul Rubens turned that down for being in poor taste after what he's, he's done. Well, well, he's a great guy. and I think it was a, it was a scatological joke, not a sex joke. No, I'm a big fan. Did you ever see Midnight Madness, one of his earliest films? No, I've never seen Michael it. Michael J. Fox, Paul Rubens. Two of my heroes. You know, you haven't seen Midnight Madness? That sounds familiar. It is about no. an incredible scavenger hunt that a group of derelicts and degenerates attempt all over the city of Los Angeles. Mm. You really ought to see this film. And anybody out there who has seen Midnight Madness, please call in and tell us your memories of this wonderful, wonderful film which aired uh, originally in 1980 when it was released. We got wow. some calls here. Let's see. Poolside Chess with our great guests. Who is this? Uh, this is Ed. How you doing, Neil? Horrible. And, Eric, you, uh, and uh, the show is awful. It's even worse than Tom's show is. What, what do you have to say? Uh, well, I was going to ask you how it was like, what it was like uh, touring with uh, KG and, and uh, Jack Black. Tenacious D, you mean. Get him out. Get him out. It was... Eric had to pee and I think probably poo. All right, we've, got, we've lost our guest. Uh, you know, how was it touring with those guys? Yeah. Where do you uh, live? Uh, in Maine. So you didn't come down to see the show in Boston? No, I didn't actually. I didn't make it. No, I should have, though. You blew it. I regret, I regret not. You blew it. So Neil, it, I, Neil it, I was thinking if any point you, got, you have a guest host, you could be the guest and then callers could ask you questions about... You know, would ask you questions about what's going on in your career. Well, these callers are all sickos. It did, just I don't seems even like know a waste why we of our time to sit here and listen to you, listen to people ask questions about your career. Yeah, it is a waste of your time. Yeah. I do apologize. So, Can we get a hood to put over this man's head so he doesn't have to watch this hell? Uh, blindfold. Friend, you asked us about uh, Tenacious D and what it was like working with those young folks. That's right, yeah. It was fantastic. It was That's awesome. fantastic. Fantastic. Good to hear. I had a bag of Doritos every night backstage. That I, you gotta love Doritos. No, I don't. I, I dislike them. Fuck you. Poolside Jazz. Who's this? Hey. Check one. Poolside Jazz. Hi. This is Judge Crinkle. I just wanted a question for Tim or Eric. Go ahead. How can we help? I was wondering if I. Uh, um, DVD was going to come out? Yeah, our uh, Tom Goes to the Mayor DVD is coming out April 3rd. A lot of people have been asking us this question. Which one? Tom Goes to the Mayor, uh, the complete that? series. Okay. Do you have Down Syndrome? He sounds, he sounds handicapped. Do you have Down Syndrome? Thanks. Yeah, he does. Thank you. Yeah, you, you're, you make me sick. Don't ever call this number again. Poolside chance. Test. Yeah. This is horrible. Poolside chance. Hey, Neil. Hey, asshole. What do you have? Oh, man, I love you, man. I hate you. What do you want? I want to know why these two guys aren't saying anything interesting. Oh, because you're not saying anything interesting. Your job is to inspire these two people, you little piece of shit, you little cocksucker. Gerald... R. Ford died on December 26th. Yes. This was the world's foremost collector of shrunken heads and our 38th president. 
and he dropped dead on his toilet. And you dare call here and disgrace the legacy of our greatest living president. Fuck you. Wow, wow. Poolside right. chats, who is this? Hello. Hello! Check. All right, no, check one. Poolside chats. Hello? Yeah, who are you? Garbage man. I'm from New York. I don't believe that. He's from New York? Yeah. What street do you live on? I live on uh, Henry and Brooklyn. That's not a real street. Oh, well, no, it's two streets. It's the corner. No, it is not a real street. What do you need, hmm? sir? What's your question? What do you need? Oh, I actually just want to know which college Tim and Eric went to. At, uh, was Couldn't you find that out on our website? Yeah. Or on uh, Wikipedia? Or IMDB? Listen, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. It's kind but... of a bore. It's a boring it's, question. do that. I mean, I, I just thought I'd call in and ask. Now I'm not before calling. Well, it's the only question you have. Uh, can I interrupt you guys? I just, Please. It's, it's nice that you have us on here to promote yeah. the new show and everything, but I... This I just want to say a couple words show. about why I'm really here. I don't think it's Tim's right. Here I don't think it's right to go into that now. But we I can. just want to say just a, a couple brief words in rascals. Um, my wife and can I get been, a zoom in. My zoom wife, in. And, my wife and I have been breeding rascals for several years. Tim, when we started working together, was wasn't very into it. Yeah. And I just want to thank Tim. He actually made me this shirt this afternoon because he knew I wanted to talk about rascals and well, just I've, techniques yeah. of breeding them and. And how the, they're not a threat. If you see a rascal in your backyard, mm -hmm. you don't have to kill it. You can bring it in, cage it. Um, it eats hamsters yeah. and other rodents. So. I would like to say a word about, just to clear the record, I'm happy to have made the uh, shirt for you. But two years ago, I was pretty much your standard anti-rascal guy. Um, uh, I thought that we didn't need rascals, you know? <laughs> I thought we were wasting time uh, breeding them and cl and uh, mating them, and, and Tim's not. I like caught. I, I I'll be honest with you, Eric. I don't think I told you this, but I would I would catch rascals in my backyard and I'd have them put to sleep. You would, you know. To tell the truth, what would you really do with them? Uh, you put telling, them to sleep. He's telling the truth. This I'd, beautiful animal. Can we get a shot on these things? These are so beautiful. I have several of these as pets. I like to just say... They're so loving, and, and when you're cold at night, these things will snuggle up with you and keep you warm. They're so beautiful. They're such friendly animals. And, so and they're smart. I want to apologize to too. you, Eric, for how the untold number of ra rascals that I've put to death. No, uh, you know, wouldn't kill of my, one of these. Yeah, you? I did. That no, because because there were, I had a problem in my backyard. I had a very large backyard at the time. And we had rodents, we had rabbits, we had rascals, we had a whole number of animals. I love these rascals. Uh, I, I, I didn't get it, you know. It was one of those deals where you just didn't get it. I didn't get what was great about them. These it's, are so friendly. But, you know... It took and, Tim a long time to really warm up to them. And I'm here to say that, you know, thank you. Yeah. I did something cool today. I sat down and I wrote a... Uh, co-wrote, actually with a couple of uh, songwriters. A Harry song... Chapin? No, <laughs> not Harry Chapin. Uh, a, good, a couple of good friends of mine who asked not to be named because they could get in trouble with their union for working outside of the union to write a song. They're an ASCAP. Whitfield Crane from Ugly Kid Joe? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he's, a good, he's a good friend of mine, and it's funny you brought that up. Nathan. It's it's do you fun. know Wit? Yeah, I know Wit. Yeah. What do you know him? Well, I, well, we used to write songs together. You wrote some yeah. Ugly Kid Joe's big hits. I didn't, I didn't write ugly, ugly Kid Joe stuff, but I don't know if you're familiar with this. His solo stuff is not I bad. I love his solo stuff. <laughs> Wit the Kid. You know Wit the Kid, the record. Yeah, of course. I have I have a hundred copies of them. <laughs> that I have burned to keep warm. But, but you were a good friend of Whitfield Crane of Ugly Kid Joe. Did you have sensuality with him? Oh. Where do you, how do you know Whitfield Crane from Ugly Kid Joe? <laughs> how many folks here, can we get some Ugly Kid there's Joe no, fans on the line? There's no way to answer that. Hello. Hello? Yeah, I have a question for Tim and Eric. I don't yeah. believe you. No, I do. Um, okay, I would... well, send your thumbprint to us. We need to verify. You need what? We need to verify your thumbprint. Okay. Can you fax it to us? I don't have a fax. Do you have a computer? 
Yes. What's the damn question? What's your question, asshole? Okay, my my question was um, how you guys first started working, like what when you guys first started working. Oh, you uh, Eric, piece of shit, you piece of garbage, you human scum, you monkey fucking scumbag piece of shit. Go on the internet. You can find that all out. You got these great talents, these wonderful human beings who've provided us with so much entertainment on the Adult Swim Network with Tom Ghost for the Mayor and now Tim and Eric. Awesome show, great job. And you piece of human shit can't take the time to go on the internet and find out the simplest of questions. Don't you have anything a little more complicated for these guys to ask, huh? Okay, can I have one more, one more chance? A two-parter would be great. Just something. If you can focus it on rascals, we'd be happy to answer. Rascal awareness, rascal appreciation. A rascal God. is an outdoor cat. Um. Okay. All right, I hate you. See, See if anybody I, else. I, I was know. right swearing at that guy because he turned out to be human garbage. Poolside chats. All right. P poolside chats. Hello. Hello, are you Charles Manson? Uh, actually, no, I'm Grant. I have a question for Tim and not for Eric. Uh, uh, oh, so you're trying to be divisive, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, my question is, uh, do, do you like the deal or no deal show? <laughs> this, guy's this is from, a good question. This guy's from Sex in the City. No, he's a friend of mine from Sex in the City, yeah. which I appeared he's a on. Sex in the City writer. And we you have were a lot on of Sex fun. in the City? Yeah, I was on there for. Did you have sex with one of those girls? No, no. I did not. I played a gay character. You were um, gay on the show. Yep. And it was a bit of a stretch, but not too much of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and Thanks, Grant. Thank oh, you, Grant. Along with, yes. The question is, the answer to your question is... Thanks, Grant. I love Deal or No Deal. Um, if you'd make a top 100 all-time great shows have ever aired on NBC, that would be number one. Number two would be um, Seinfeld. Number three would be but, but also... Uh, do you prefer deal or do you prefer no deal? Oh, I see the question. This Grant. is a little more complicated than it sounds. Sex in the city, dude. Yeah. It's been done. It should be easy. The, the answer is... They have a whole is, show about that idea. The question is no deal. No deal, buddy. The answer, and the answer is deal. Deal so. it up. I like it when they go to deal, too, because they, they're guaranteed some money. <laughs> hey, where, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Austin, Texas. You're kidding. All the way down in Austin, Texas. What is the name? We'll be down there for South by Southwest. Are you guys going to play or something? Yeah. yeah. What's, the, uh, what's the date? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Shh. Fred. Well, well, where Grant, do you live in Austin? What's your English address? Which, where do you live? We apologize. Uh, I, I live in Austin, Texas. What's the address? What's your street address? I, the road. Okay, we're, not, we're off the no, air. No, no, I, I, there's 19 prostitutes who are good friends of mine who live in Austin, Texas. These women are juicy. Can we send one And they're going to go right over to your house and make love to you. Nineteen of these women, if you're ready for it. If you're man enough, you'll give us the address so I can send my nineteen prostitute friends over to your house to make love to you all night long in the most sensuous of positions. What is your address? It's, uh, 1329. Yep. Mulholland Drive. That is not in Austin. No. You are a liar and you make me sick. Cool side chance. They hung up on us. Oh, well. Tim and Eric, I do apologize. We have had some sickies, some real sickies calling mm -hmm. the show tonight. But, uh, hopefully bummer. the quality will improve. 323 9976 Call up if you have some money to donate, even if you don't. We are taking calls. Here we got one right here. Poolside Chats, you are on the air internationally. Folks in Sri Lanka and uh, Topanga Canyon Folks in Madagascar. Should see if anyone's even there. All over the world are taking, are listening to what you have to say. What do you have to say? I have had a question for Tim and Eric. Uh, I'm answering. Yes. These guys are eager to answer your question. You okay? Piece of shit. Nice. Video switch. I, I was wondering if I could wrap my dick around their throat and start them like a fucking lawnmower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 the answer is no, but short answer no, long answer yes. So. Because yes is three letters and no is two. We lost him, Neil. We're losing them all tonight. All right. Good morning. Good morning, America. Good morning. Hey, assholes. All right. You cowards. You fucking garbage people. 
Hey, I'm doing a show tomorrow night in Bellingham, Washington. So I've heard. At a club called Shribbins. Shribbins? Be, uh, Shribbins. I'll be performing Shribbins. there tomorrow night. Can you believe that? Have you been to Shribbins? I've never been. Have you guys? No one's switching no. this show. Look at this. Where are you guys perform? You guys oh. are doing a tour Hi. to promote the awesome show. We're doing Tim and Eric awesome tour. Where are you performing? We're doing Seattle, not Tribbins. What? What? Venue? Tribbins. I'm playing Bellingham tomorrow. No, well, we're playing Tribbins, Washington. It's a smaller. It's Tribbins, Tribbins Washington. The guys that run Tribbins Club have a little town. <laughs> they invented yeah. a town. Yep. And it's. The, I don't know why they don't have. Their, they scene. don't have their own club there. It's a great scene. Well, they do. And, and so you guys are playing. Uh, we're not playing Washington uh, tour. Yeah, we're playing Tribbins and Seattle. And, and if you can come up with a couple other towns in Washington, Spokane. Uh, Spokane, yeah. Treps. Tacoma. Trepst. Prepst. Prepst and Crumpst. Mm -hmm. And Scrumpsh. And Ornival. And Grunk. Grunk and Grunk. Poolside Chats, hey, you've made it. You have succeeded in life. You're on the air. What do you have to say? All right, fuck you. Poolside. Poolside Chats. Yeah, I was. I had a question for the three of you guys. Go ahead. I have a question for you, asshole. Well, but let's hear your question first. How are you guys gonna celebrate Martin Luther King Day? It's a little late. We've already done most of ourselves. Why don't you ask us that question last night? Why don't you email that to our website? Why don't yesterday? you rephrase the question to say, how did you celebrate Martin Luther King Day? Why don't you check the time zone yeah, and realize that question. it's pretty late? Why don't you understand that there's not a lot of time for us to celebrate Martin Luther King Day, unless you're referring to next year's Martin Luther King Day? How did you celebrate it, you That's piece of shit? That's my question. You human piece of shit. How did you celebrate it? I took slaves in my house. What, you did what? You, had a pl you made a play? No, I had slaves in my house. So where, do, where are you calling from, garbage man? North Carolina. Where? What? North Carolina. Oh. What city? Birthplace of racism. Raleigh. Raleigh. That is where they raped so many uh, wonderful, wonderful people over the years. And <laughs> and you dare to call from that filth hole, Raleigh, Kareth, Car I love it. Kareth, Carolina. Uh, poolside Chats, where are you calling from? Hey, I'm calling from Miami Beach, Florida. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that is my all, spot. Oh, that's Miami Beach spot. spot. That's party time. Oh, yeah. Party. Miami Beach. That's party time. Hey, that that is my spot. Party time. Hey, so, do, you, do you have a lot of sex with sensuous women? Uh, whenever possible. That is oh, my spot. Boy. That's a fucking party <laughs> Miami Beach. That's a fucking party time. I fucking hey, love my... Uh, Robin Gibb from the Bee Gees calling. Uh, well, uh, no, but he's, he's a personal friend. Per you do not know Robin Gibb, you liar. You sack of shit, you're white. Right. It's the truth, man. I got a question. What's the question? Well, I want to know if, if we can convince Neil to jump in the pool, will his hair float away separately from his body? Hey. All right, hey. I don't know if that's a How about I convince you to jump into the pit that leads straight to hell, because that's where you deserve to go. I think I'm already... Son of a bitch, you piece of garbage, you racist, you sexist, you homophobe. You make me sick. You are a disgusting human being. I will never visit Miami Beach again. And uh, all the that's topless town, women Neil, of Miami good. Beach have decided Neil, to my, move uh, to Mobile, step Alabama. <laughs> I guess so step all the Miami that's Beach town, topless Neil. women are moving to Mobile, Alabama uh, because this guy makes them so that's sick. <laughs> they my, can't, no, you are not from town. Miami Beach. Uh, uh, we got another color. Who are you? Uh, you yeah. garbage man. Does PETA support the rascals? Just PETA support the rascals. Yeah, that's a great question. That's a great question. And I want to say I've made an alliance this week with PETA. Uh, I, I put my hand out over the flames and I said, PETA, give me another shot because... Tim, Tim is, is taking a turn for good. I gotta He's say, I was a bit cynical. He's been killing a lot of animals, specifically rascals in his it backyard. It was kind of my prime target and I took, out, I took it out on the rascal. You shave your rascal like you might a beaver? Would that be... You're a filth person, aren't you? <laughs> no. Get some help. Hey, <laughs> where, what town are you from? I'm from Virginia. Yeah, you know they have psychiatrists there, and I suggest you see one. Poolside Chats. Hey, Neil. Yeah, who are you? Uh, my name's Brendan, and I live in uh, Bellingham, Washington. Yeah, are you yeah. serious, Brendan? Are you coming to my show tomorrow night? I wanted to, but I'm not 21, so I can't get it. the bar. How old are you? 18. You're kidding. Get a fake ID. Can't you get a fake ID? 
I don't think I could do one that quick, but I wanted to come down and see. You I live in right Bellingham. Away. As soon as you walk in there. Have you been to the Shribbins before where I'm playing? No, I know where it's at, though. It's right downtown there. But it's a restaurant, isn't it? I thought it was, too, but uh, so someone called and asked, and they said you got to be 21 to go see your show. No, no, Brendan, we'll get you in somehow. Okay, yeah, I can, yeah I'll try. How large is your penis? Uh. <laughs> Good one. About a foot. A foot. I think we can get you in. Really? Why do you want someone with a, with a big penis to come to your show? We need the gi gigantic, ginormous penises at my show. Why well, didn't you have a ginormous penis? Yeah, I do. Okay. Show up at the venue at exactly 8.58, okay? 8.58, out front? Out in front, and I will go, come out there, and I will whisk you in, and uh, I will get you into the show. All right, I'll meet you down there. If Brendan, you can, my name, and I'll... Uh... Brendan, no, I will be there at 8.58. Oh, huh? If you <laughs> come to Chiribbins at 8.58 in Bellingham, Washington, Brendan, I will make it my goal to get you into this show. All right, I'll do it. Okay? 8.58. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll see you at 8.58. Good night, Brendan. Poolside Chats. Hello? Hello, my asshole it's friend. Oh, man. <laughs> I am Chris calling from Minneapolis. And I have a two-part question for all three of you. Hey. I have a two-part answer for you. Fuck you, Chris. You are a piece of garbage, and I wish I'd never heard from you in my life. Good wow. night. Wow. You know what? What is your question? Okay. Um. I. Uh, it was, my first question is wondering what is your favorite Ugly Kid Joe record? Is it America's Least Wanted or Menace nope. to Sobriety? It's Motel California. Menace, Menace to Sobriety for me. Right. Are, are you? Were you an Ugly Kid Joe, Chris? I was not, but I was just a huge fan. Yeah. And, uh, and my Welcome sister's to the club. Uh, boyfriend used to do some pyro for them. Um, did and you, did you ever see Ugly Kid Joe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did you see them? I saw them at um, Annie's, which is a restaurant right behind my house here. Uh -huh. Wow, how convenient. Did, did, no, you, have, did, you, have sex, did you have sex with Winfield so. Crane after the show? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They were great for you know, their songs. Ugly Kid and, Joe. And after they, I heard them just too bad. I, so fresh. I wish I had a restaurant behind my house where Ugly Kid Joe played when I, I was do. a kid. Does Ugly Kid Joe do encores? They did. They did three encores. It was actually a nine-hour. What was their hit song? What was their number one? I, I hit? hate everything about you. Ah, right. exactly. They did, I always knew they did that smaller a couple times, stuff, actually. like the acoustic jazz stuff he did. You knew that wishing well song. <laughs> the wishing well. They also well, did a Hornet Coleman well. cover. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, did you? So you, you are friends with Whitfield Crane, Am I correct? I'm not only friends, but he's like my hero. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have you, have you heard any of his free jazz stuff? I've heard a lot of the street jazz stuff. I think a lot of it, again, Improv. challenges Ornette Coleman, any of the late yeah. John Coltrane. It's stuff, nuts. So. I think he's a great man. I, think he's one yeah. of I got some bootlegs of his shit. I should pass it along to you. You made some MP3s. Yeah, yeah I'll maybe pass on the email or something. I'll send it to one of your agents or something. Yeah. I'd it be down for that. My he's agent, definitely here. Did you ever hear with Bill Crane's cover of, ugly, of uh, Cats in the Cradle by Harry <laughs> Chapin? <laughs> I have. It's even more touching. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we, all with, you know, Whitfield Crane's son passing away. Pretty good Pretty, stuff. That was right after the Ornette concert. I used to do a cover of Witt's version of that. You used to do a cover of the cover? I did, well, Pretty I did good. his, the way he Pretty interpreted good. it. His key. You got he some more it. drinks up here? He huh? did it in a different key. Vodka? A different key, okay. Please. That makes sense. You don't well, I just want to thank you all for uh, taking my call. Well, you had a two-part question, though. Is what was the second part, huh? Let me hear my question. Okay, well, that was enough, I thought we talked about. But sure, my question was, uh... Who are your favorite novelists, all three of you, Neil? Tim. Well, Witt's book about, uh, he had that book about jazz that, that, uh... A wonderful book. Sold a million, novel about million jazz? copies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, I did a show recently with Tenacious D in Brighton, England. Oh, I was in Brighton, Brighton Beach, England. Brighton Beach. Oh, I was there. I, was there. I had a, a 17 pounds worth of two pence coins thrown at me during the oh, course of Jesus. the show. It was not good. Right. But as a result, I very much enjoyed the works of Graham Greene. He wrote Brighton Rock. Great, a great. wonderful great book. Great novel. And now, I was in Brighton Beach when I was 11 years old. What happened there to you? I, uh, Were you my, molested? My family, my family went to Europe on like a little European vacation. And it was my, my family and my, my aunt and uncle and their two cousins. And we spent the whole two weeks traveling together. And the one day we decided to 
split up and go different to different day trip. And the my family and the, the other family both went to Brighton Beach, unbeknownst to the others. Missed each other by about a half hour. An incredible mix up. It is one of the it's one of the great true stories in my life. Classic. It's, classic caper. I didn't make a cent of it up. It's all from the heart. Eric it's told me don't tell story. the story tonight. Was there any I begged, insect, I any begged him. <laughs> no, there was no, no He goes to me, this is about an hour before this, we, we start rolling. He says, don't tell the story. Beg, I said, like, if it beg. comes up, I'll, I'll tell the story. You got only if Brighton Beach comes up, and thanks. One so. in a million, and we appreciate it. And there was incest. Quite a bit. <laughs> is that what you wanted to hear, you sicko hell <laughs> poolside chats? Hey, hey, I have a question for Tim and Eric. Wonderful. You know what? I have an amazing coincidence for you. Tim and Eric are actually here tonight. Garbage boy. What do you have to say to them? Well, uh, I was going to ask them. Uh, I was going to ask them how it feels to be the uh, absolute worst guest on the Neil Hamburger Show of all time. Wow! How does that feel? How does that happen? That is how did that get through? How did that even get through? So much I saw a little bit. I saw a little clip of the guy, the other guy from Tenacious D, KG. Come on. Was, and I thought that might have that must terrible, have been the right? worst guest. It's got to be the worst. Every guest is terrible on, that we've ever had on here. He's worried. Every caller is terrible. Look at this shit, dude. Hey, you piece of shit. Where the hell well, are you I want to ask him a couple questions. Garbage boy. Uh, What's your name, last name first, please? Could Tim and Eric maybe pull their sweaters up over their mouth so I, uh... What's your name, last name first? Where are you from, you cock-sucking piece of shit? Fuck you. Poolside chats. Hello. Hey, Neil. Yeah, it's amazing hey, that works. Friend. I was I was wondering if you kiss your m mother with that mouth. Oh, you wow. were wondering that, huh? Yeah. You were wondering mouth, that, huh? Mouth is full of administration. You know what? I am the world's foremost collector of shrunken heads, and you have just gone to number one on my want list of shrunken heads. That's great. Hey, where do you live? What's your address? Um, I live in North Carolina. Another okay, now I don't like. Why? <laughs> How does that get? The only people that get the internet. Yeah, they, it's, it's North Carolina's it, because they're. Yeah, hello. Hey. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like the tone of it, your voice. Uh, I have a question for Tim and Eric. No, you don't. Uh, okay. What is your question? Uh, I want to know when and where I can uh, buy a bowel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is perfect. It's it's perfect. What a great call. No, this is really the call that's trying to show around. Yeah, huh? did some, did you make plant it awesome. this? This did you guy was this? paid. I have to admit, we have a budget of $1,000, and it all went to this guy, this piece of shit. It all went to him. Well, sir, I want to thank you for reading your directions and uh, calling at the right time. And we'll we'll settle up with you in a, you know, in a couple days. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for I calling. I appreciate it. Thank you. What's wrong with you? Poolside chats. Poolside chats? Poolside chats. Hey, sorry about all the fucking assholes calling, you know. Well, thank I you. Real, I have a real question, all right? Thank God, huh? Where, are you, where do you live? Eric's legs on fire. Where do you live? I live in Michigan. What city in Michigan? Ah! No, I miss you. Wonderful. Do you have a question for Tim and Eric? Yes, yes. I, I saw the video of their new show coming out. I, I have to say, I love it. You guys are doing a good job. Um, I also want to add um, a yes. tip in the key tar there. I want to know wh where you guys got those key tars and, you know, how long have you guys been playing professionally? <laughs> well, I think we just rented them. I don't have a funny answer for that, Neil. And the fact is, they don't, uh, doesn't matter. And no, we're faking it. Faking it? Oh, well, all right, fine. Jummer. <laughs> I bet he looked really interesting. Yeah, that's my, uh, my uncle. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. What is the difference? What, can we get a close-up on me? We've had one almost all night. What is the difference between Britney Spears and the decaying corpse of once great President Gerald R. Ford. I don't know. Well, in the interest of public decency, uh, the decaying corpse of uh, Ford is uh, not being displayed to the American public. 
That's good. I like oh, that. That is not good. <laughs> Pool sign chance. All right, you're a loser. Pool sign chance. Hello? Wow. Can we have a woman call? Who are you, gay, or is it a woman, or what is this? Um, I had a question about the raptors, and uh, it looked like that one on his shirt was trying to fire its laser. Is that... Does that have anything to do with that? Sorry, That's not jokes, funny to make fun of a making damn jokes rat. About this I'm a laser. Making jokes Seriously. about the situation is not going to help anything. The laser. Shoot the whoop. If there's any, if there's any girl, you know, women, there's got to be ladies that yeah. watch the internet. I would like to do give a big shout out to my friend Neil, uh, who's in Chumbawamba. He's in town tonight playing at the Hard Rock. He's a good guy. Really? Yeah. He's a great guy. He is a Hard Rock in Los Angeles. Yep. Uh, the Hard Rock Cafe. Where is that? It's what in street? on Beverly, right in Beverly Hills. You have a friend in Chumbawamba? Yep, Neil. He's that one of their true, bass players. Yeah, it's Chumbawamba. Yeah. Remember those guys? Yeah, they had a of lot course. Of hits. It's, yeah. He's not playing. The vodka song. He's not playing with it's them tonight, song, but he's playing so. in another band called Whiskey's Sour, and they are playing tonight. And if, if everyone goes out to see him, <laughs> myspacecom whiskey sour. Hey, I'll tell you what. These callers are assholes. Oh, I disagree. We have gotten nothing out of these people. They're let's get a nice call. Shit. How about somebody we know call? How about a uh, pool side chance? Well, who is this? Hey, uh, I, was, I have a question about the rascals. This is Joey from Alameda. Yeah, we got a, a, a shot on the, on the these rascals. Could we just get a close a up? Close up on the rascals. Joey uh, from I, Alameda. I just... Are you from Alameda? Yes. That's not a nice place, is it? No, it's terrible. But um, I just want to ask about the rascals. Can we get a closer to the fucking rascals? Been on poolside chats ever. These guys suck. They're terrible. Tim and Eric suck. Wow. Who are you? What's your address? What do you do? What do I do? What's your bore? You work at Vaughn. 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 You work at
But we'd love to. It's not really up to, up to us. If everyone buys lots of Tom Goes to the Mayor DVDs, get them for Christmas uh, gifts. Also, I have another question. Yeah, dear. Uh, I wanted to know maybe, like, if you guys needed people to work on Tim and Eric show, awesome job. We really do, because at this point, and I, this, is a, this is right to the crowd here, we don't have anybody... <clears throat> Anybody working at, uh, for us right now? We lost our crew. Uh, we had uh, okay. we, we had a Christmas party. Megan, hold on. We had a Christmas party uh, posthumously after Christmas two weeks ago, right after New Year's. Everyone had plans for New Year's, so we moved everything to the week after, and we did a little boat thing outside of Catalina. Beautiful. We had a little bit of a ride. capsize. It was a catamaran, and the boy capsized on us. We lost a bunch of friends. Megan? Megan? So crew, huh? Where do you live, Megan? I live in Carbondale, Illinois. I'm well, get the hell up here because we need Come on to LA. We need you. Just email we us. We need cameramen. We need uh, editors. We need producers. We need PAs. Are you willing to move uh, to Los Angeles, Megan? I am graduating in May, and I am absolutely willing to move what's, to Los Angeles. What school do you live in? Work on your what school do you work at? Where, where we is prefer your someone that had three to five years in the industry, but... Uh, you know, you've yeah. got to take Megan. She's a good girl. Well, come on up, Megan. We'll Megan, thanks. For you. Uh, I work on a uh, show for, t or for school. No, that's like an all-student volunteer show called All News 2646. Sounds just like that'll be to our show. Meg, just send us your reel. Send it to our MySpace. All right. MP attach an MP3. I'll work on your show. 2899 uh, Highland down. Avenue, Los Angeles. I want to apologize to the families of our crew who are going through a really tough time right Serious now. situation. Because so. of the Al-Qaeda. Uh, poolside chats. Poolside chats. Yeah, hey, uh, I got a question about your, uh, the, the rascals. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, uh, about their, their urine. Is it toxic? No, it's not, actually. And we enjoy a, a small glass every morning. It's uh, very good for your metabolism. Sorry, what? While I was in the middle of a sentence, you keep talking? Yeah, you stink. Stupid fucker. You are a stinky human being. That guy smells worse than, uh, than the Carl Schneider uh, triple bacon cheeseburger. Poolside Chats, who is this? Hi, my name is Brittany. Brittany! Brittany! Whoa. Brittany! Why were you named Brittany? Oh, you're named after Brittany Spears. No, this is, is this oh. Brittany? Yes. Ohio? Hey. Brittany, where do you live? Where do you live? From Denver, Colorado. No oh, way. Brittany? Were you at my show in Denver, Colorado on November 21st? No, I wasn't. I had no idea you were out here. I'm sorry, Neil. Brittany, I gotta pee so bad. Just go. I think I should just go in my pants. Brittany, tell us a story while Tim goes pay pay. Say what? <laughs> tell us a story while Tim goes pay pay. You a story? I actually had a question. Go ahead. For who? Or right, Tim and Eric. Well, I'll field it. Tim's gone. Barry Eric can help you. Oh, okay. Well, I am a huge fan of Tom Goes to the Mayor. Oh, thank you so much. And, yeah, I just wanted to know what your new show is like. Is there anything like Tom, or is it completely different? It's completely different. Did you see that clip in the beginning of the show, the Kitar guys? Yes, I did. It's like that. It's live action. It's like watching lots of YouTube clips backed up to each other. It's hilarious. Is the humor going to be as good? It's going to be hilarious. All right, great. I'm excited. I will definitely be watching. It's going to be better, Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> it's going to roll. Better. better. Brit. Better. Can I ask you this, Brittany? Mm -hmm. How do you make a living in Denver? Do you deal PCP? Oh, oh yeah. You caught me, damn it. You are a PCP dealer. No, I don't. I live off my mom and dad right now. I'm going to college. But you're dealing PCP on the side to uh, pay your tuition. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right. What's your address? Because I have a lot of friends in Denver who want PCP, Angel Dust. Oh, Where, what's your address? Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's fine. I know Brittany, people it's okay. here that need that shit, and I'm not going to be giving out my address. No, give out your address, Brittany, because I have a lot of friends who are rapists who want to come by your house tonight and rape you. Brittany, it's okay. You no, know, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, that is not fucked up. That is humanity. Have you ever been to the moon? No, no, I haven't. Neil Armstrong went to the moon, and Buzz Aldrin went to the moon, and they raped all the moon people, and that is a disgrace that you'll never hear about on CBS. Poolside Chats. Hello? Who is this? Oh, this is uh, Max. I'm uh, in Washington. I was say, um, can't wait to see your show tomorrow. Are you going to be there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Max. Definitely. What town do you live in? I live in Shaw. It's a little bit away from Seattle. Shaw. Shaw. You live in... Yeah, Washington, Matt. Yeah, yep. What do they do there, huh? 
Bert. Child molesting, huh? <laughs> Are you, you kidnapped that kid from uh, Missouri? Are you the one that raped him? I don't want to hear from you. You make me sick. Poolside Chats. Hey, Neil. Yeah, who are you? This is Mike from Michigan. No, I don't Good believe question. you. I don't believe you live in Michigan. What's that? I don't believe you live in Michigan. Oh, I, I got a question for Tim and Eric. Let's hear it. I was just wondering what kind of if there's any other guest spots on the new show. I know you mentioned Paul Rubens. Will we be seeing maybe David Cross or Bob Odenkirk on the new show? Bob and David are both on the new show. Fantastic. And uh, we've got Paul Baxter. What's that? We've got Paul Baxter, who's in every episode. Jimmy Davis, Richard Dunn, Ron Stark. <laughs> Actually, right. we, we just edited this awesome it's David Cross caller, thing. It's anti-sex huh? ad. Love assholes. David Cross. Is there any way you're ever going to do any more Tom Goose some of your stuff? That's the best show. That's my favorite show. Uh, Thank the you. The DVD is coming out. April 3rd, uh, pre-order. And it's got a lot of special features on it's got uh, like a 45 minute documentary about uh the making of the show and it's got a uh, commentary on the whole 30 episode thing. commentary fully digital cool. it's three three discs i think we'll make a tom goes to the mayor movie one yeah. day that's what i was thinking that'd be awesome that's we yeah. my friends and i watch that show every time it never gets old oh thanks a lot man what, what, what do you think when people call up and 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 there's so much hate towards us does that does that make you make you upset to hear that somebody that you People that you like are, are so despised? Flame. You know, it's polarizing. That's what they you call know. it. That's what they're calling It's the buzzword for our comedy. It's polarizing. You love it or you hate it. You're either in the club or you're not. So, But we right. appreciate your respect. A lot, of people, they don't, they don't under, a lot of people don't understand it. Nah. It's not, it's not mainstream humor, but it's, it's a, good. There's a lot of rap going on out around here. Yeah, those of you might not know, but Tom Green... This is his house, and it's pretty amazing. But it's a really nice house. for this whole interview, he's just having this party in this other room back here. Yeah, it's I like just... really right off camera. So like just you, you see where my hand is? It's it's if you go if you would go this way. Well, so you guys should actually if join you the would party go that way. If you would go that, if you would go <laughs> this way. If you would follow cool. the cameras this way, you're gonna see the party in there. Yeah, you guys gonna go party after this? No. We'll probably be Let's try to make a call. Thank you for your call. Poolside Chats! How can we help you? Poolside Chats? Neil having a hard time with Poolside this. Poolside Chats! Is it, is it getting Neil, better? I was wondering if Tim and Eric, uh, who they thought was hotter. This is Tim Miller. Hey, Tim hey, Miller! Tim! <laughs> yeah, Tim, Tim Miller's Miller. the best! Tim! Oh, Tim! What the hell are you calling for? I was wondering, who do you think's hotter? Annette, Beat Low, or uh, Don Sibley? Easy, Don Sibley. Because you know? I like Erica. Wolf. Have you I seen like Erica? Wolf. Oh, Tim Miller. I like <laughs> Tim, how'd you get like this Beatles. number? Uh, poolside Chats. Hey, thanks for calling. You, uh, we hate you. Who are you? Hey, I'm Josh. Josh, I don't believe you. What's your real name? Pedophile. Josh. I how many children have you molested, Josh? <laughs> hey, I was wondering what kind oh, of... Oh, wait. No. Answer the question, Josh. What? You're trying to evade the question. That's yeah, the quickest sign of guilt. Case. Oh, look at this drink. Who? How many children have you molested, Josh? Eighteen. Oh. I knew we'd get to the, the truth. Admission of guilt. You you live in Missouri? No. You molested that little 13-year-old boy who was now 28? No. What's your question, sicko? Oh, you cool. make me sick, you oh, petter ass. You make me want to vomit. Poolside chats. <laughs> Yellow. Ah. Wrong. Poolside chats. Hello? Hey, you sound like a pervert. No, I want to know what color your parachute is. That's a, actually a good question. There it is. <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you calling from, prick? I'm calling from New York. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not good enough to live in New York. I know. Poolside chats. Neil, it's uh, Nat Water. We're calling from Calgary, Alberta. Calgary? That is a great town, huh? What? That, that is a town where vomit, it, the whole streets, the streets of Calgary are covered in vomit. Well, why did you call? That's very true. Why did you call, huh? Garbage uh, I'm boy. I'm wondering about tour dates. I'm going to Seattle to see Tenacious D. I was wondering if you'd be there. Of course I'll be there. Really? At the Paramount Theater? Yeah, you bet. I'm, I'm opening the show. Perfect. That is going to be a wonderful night, huh? Sound like Judd. Are you going to do a lot of PCP, <laughs> huh? Hey. You sick drug addict fuck! 
poolside chats. Hello? Hey! What's your problem? There he is. Who is this? Who's this? Who am I speaking with? Who's this? Tim and Eric Neal. Really? I have a question. I don't Tim think you Eric. do. Get it over with. You're, you're boring us. Okay, well, I want to ask him about the great Jim Belushi. Yeah. Good friend of ours. What's the question? Big fan. Big fan and well, I'd friend. Like to, um, I'd like to say, um, full clothes due to AIDS. Desu, 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 desu. Unbelievable. The caliber of people that call this show are really amazing. I, we have seven Nobel Prize winners who have called this show tonight. We have 14 Academy Award winners. Remember that time? for Best Supporting Actor. As, 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 Hey, my friend. I can't believe you finally called. This is my best friend in the world. It's Mr. <laughs> Shit. Hey, Eric. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, is that a picture of Neil Hamburger's mom on your shirt? <laughs> oh, boy. We got a smart oh, Alec. Is he talking to we got a smart <laughs> Alec. Poolside chats. Hey, I was just wondering uh, for Tim, Tim and Eric, yeah. if they got those sweaters for Christmas. Well, if well, you listen to the interview earlier, Tim got me this sweater this morning. So This is a sweater I wear to work. I happen to have to come to this interview right after work. It was a little chilly today in L.A., uh, so I wore a sweater to keep me warm while I was at work because we don't have the best heating system. I explained earlier that I got that sweater for Eric because of the rascal situation that we're going through. No. So This is like a sign of friendship, dude. I don't know What's your... Any what, what, hey, got them for you, can, I, can I ask you something? Yeah. Where are you calling from? Uh, Vancouver. You're kidding. Victoria, B.C. Are you going to be at my show in Vancouver in a couple of nights? Um, probably not. Pat's Pub? You're not, you're not going to come There's to the There's only one person in Vancouver that I give a shit about. And I hope she's watching tonight. Who's that? Your girlfriend who he fucked 150 times, you garbage boy. This man fucked that guy's girlfriend, and uh, he felt so good about it. Who is this? Hello, this is Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese from oh, the old McDonald's ad. I love this bit. Yeah, I love this guy. Who is? Uh, yeah, how you been, folks? This is a good horrible. Bit. We've been horrible because. You know, actually, I was wondering uh, how the cancer's going. Uh, how the can? Uh, Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Seymour. Seymour, uh, what state? You actually believe that everyone in the world knows where Seymour, Connecticut is. It's a ploy to get people to go out and see more of Connecticut. Right. See more Connecticut. Your state stinks. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see there in Connecticut. It is a horrible state. Name one city in Connecticut. There isn't one. Can you name one city in it's Connecticut? It's all municipalities. Seymour is the only city in Connecticut. That's why it's a state. That state smells like raw sewage. It's been an it hour. Smells like wet garbage. We don't have to talk to this piece of shit garbage. Wow, what a pleasure. Well, let's get a good call. We're going we're gonna to wrap this up. This show is horrible because of folks like you. Hello, who are you? Uh, my name is Patrick, and I actually had a question for Tim and Eric. Uh, you know what, Patrick, where, where are you from? I'm actually from the greater Los Angeles area. I actually interned with Tim and Eric on Patrick. the mayor. Patrick, how many? That's a good man. Do you have a girlfriend, Patrick? <laughs> not at the moment. Patrick of course not. Cut of off course you're not. Of ago. course not. Let's. What are your? What's your question for Tim and Eric? Um, I was going to ask if uh, Mr. Odenkirk had any sort of a creative influence on the new show. Like I know he would come in for Tom goes to the mayor and and. Uh, what an embarrassing question for you to ask, considering that you might one day see us in person again, and know that you've called in to a call-in show on the internet. It's embarrassing. And we know for a fact that you've been watching your computer, watching three idiots talk for an hour. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I apologize. I feel bad for All you. Right, good night. I'm not going to acknowledge you. Hello, Poolside Chats. All right. I hate you, too. Poolside Chats. Hello? Hello. Who's this? Uh, this is Bart. Bart? Well, You've got to be. Where, where, where do you live? Excuse me? Where do you live? I live in Normal, Illinois. Give That's too good. I, uh, I, I just wanted to say that I love Tim and Eric, and awesome show, great job. It's going to be a great show and an awesome job. We agree with you. That's a great way to end the night. Yeah. Cut. Can we just say cut? 
Are you going to watch the show? Great job all night, so thanks for persevering. Uh, thank what, you. what do you like the best about these, these this duo who have been entertaining audiences for the last few years? What do you like the best it's about them? Tonight. Thank you. They're so okay. crazy and they are so random that it gives my mind happy power. I wrote a quick bit. I don't know if you want to get into this. Yeah. But here's our mic. I was thinking we could do a bit where I'm... <laughs> it's an old phone bit. <laughs> Pretending I'm talking on the phone. Hello? Yes. And Eric goes, do your bit. Hello. Check mic. <laughs> Hello. Check mic. Poolside chats. Hello. Yeah, I had a question for Tim and Eric. Yeah. We, you know, we have an answer for you, and the answer is that you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking you, going to ask about the Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Okay, that sounds like a question for Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Right, Good night. We don't really like dislike you strongly, intensely. <laughs> Poolside chats. All right, you were wrong. Poolside chat. Okay. We lost them. We lost well, them all. Folks, well, Poolside all Chats is a show that has been financed by the Down Syndrome Association of the United States of America. Oh, we have right. tried right. to have as many Down Syndrome people who have uh, persevered despite having Down Syndrome, such as myself and Tim and Eric. They have Down Syndrome, but they still persevere. Oh, hold on. Poolside Chats! Struggle getting. Uh, live action show on the Cartoon Network. Wow, that guy just started talking. <laughs> what, was your, what happened? What universe are what you living on? in? What was going on? You just started talking on hold? Waste. Hell. Hey. Yeah. I was, I was hoping you guys would uh, do a shot with me. A what? I'm just up. Are you like a Jägermeister idiot? Yeah, sure. Are you are you into Jägermeister? Are you garbage piece of, of shit? Of course, I'm from Philly. We all love like Jägermeister. Philly. We got a call hey. from Philly. Wow, it's hey. terrific. Tim and Eric, we know we've succeeded in life when we got a caller from Philadelphia. All that cheapskate. Hey, Neil. So do you you want to drink Jägermeister with Tim and Eric from the, the yeah. great television programs that these guys have brought to the world? Yeah. What have you brought to the world? Huh? Where do you work? Do you work at a Dunkin' Nightmare. Donuts? No, I'm a stagehand. I ask you. Nightmare. You make me sick. But uh, we well, can do a fake. We can do a. We mime it. We always do this. Ah, uh, you have vodka back there. Tell these kids to go grab you a quick shot. Right, Green, All right, good night. We hate That's you. It. Poolside chats. Hello. Hello, who no. is this? I like this the sound Richard of your Dunn? voice. It's a nice, gentle. This is, uh, this is Tom in Arizona. How you doing? Hey, what guys. city in Arizona, Tom? I live in Phoenix. Oh, my, my God, Phoenix. We just spent some time in Phoenix making prank phone calls. Yeah, I appreciate you calling me, jerk. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, hold on. This, this, is a good, this is an old friend. This is an old bit. This is an old friend of mine, Tom. Love you guys. Consider you guys comic... Wow, that's so a beautiful genius. I'd love to hear about your, uh, your writing process. Tell me about the creative process. I'd love to hear about it. Well, we get into a trance state, usually on Monday mornings at about 7 in the morning, and then we just focus. We focus all our energy towards creating a great bit. And it's riffing process. I'll throw out an idea, and Tim will just take it and bounce it right back to me, fully in the nude. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, you're going straight to the straight to the top. Now, last question, um, what number am I thinking of? A nine. That is correct. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Tom, Thank you're you, Tom. incredible. You're one in a million. Wow. You really are. <laughs> Poolside chats, we, we've got to wrap things up. Okay. Who are good you? Good to see you again. <laughs> okay. Do you uh, have a problem? Hi, this is Cap. Cap? Yeah. Yeah, hey, Neil. Hey, Tom. Uh, Tim and Eric. Hey, man. <laughs> Tom and Eric, huh? Yeah, You're well, you know, insane. When you, watch, when you watch Tom go to the as much as I do. What, what's your problem? Why do you? Why are you so miserable? Why is your life so empty? Why do you cry every night before going because to sleep? It's a series of unfortunate events that sort of like, like crash at my very being. Where do you live? Yeah. I live in Orlando, Florida. Oh. Uh, so you go to Disneyland a lot? Oh, never. Uh, but uh, the, the desperation of Florida, a terrible place to be. I mean, like. Uh, have you been masturbating to the city of Orlando, Florida's water supply? Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah. It's like crazy. I figured. Bigger Horrible. Than What's your problem? What do you have? Do you have any questions, or you just call to uh, masturbate onto the phone? 
Uh, actually, I, I do have a question. All right. Um, which is uh, first going to start with a thank you. Thank you to Tim and Eric for hosting uh, all the wonderful Davin Wood music from uh, from their show. Oh, um, Davin Wood. On, on the internet. Um, These guys know what's up. In depth. Um, and uh, there's, there's a song from the episode where uh, Tom Sundberg <sighs> dies. It's this horrible, depressing, wonderful song. No! Yeah, that's the one. And... I was wondering if there's any chance we're going to ever see that on the internet. Or yeah, I don't know why that didn't get put up with all the rest of the songs. It's going to be it's going to be on the DVD. It'll be on the DVD. It's all like so I can like rip it. No. Third, go Amazon.com pre-order. Yeah. Oh, I'm there. Get the happened. damn DVD. You know what I mean? Would you? Just get the fucking DVD, idiots. <laughs> hey, do you go to do you, do you go to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Orlando a lot? Uh, I went there twice like ten years ago. I go there whenever I'm down there. Yeah, you gotta go to the Blue 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 Please, believe it or not. They were a great cafe down there for a sandwich. <laughs> a wonderful. Th the Believe It or Not is why is the pastrami sandwich covered with salmonella? <laughs> Poolside chats. <laughs> Hello. Poolside chats. Yeah, I was gonna ask uh, Neil a question. Yeah, I don't have an answer for you, garbage boy. Hey, I was wondering what your religious beliefs are. My religious beliefs are that you. Where are you from? North Carolina. What city in North Carolina? <laughs> they give this number out. You Rocky get a Mount. pizza every time Which? you call this number in North Rocky. Carolina. <laughs> Which city? Rocky Mount. It must be so close to a pizza delivery. My original is This believe number us. must be so close to a pizza delivery number. Domino's in North Carolina. In the <laughs> the There's the one same. number off. Because Mind of my religious beliefs are that you're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start chats. Hi, uh, just wanted to know why the guy in the orange sweatshirt keeps getting up. Masturbate in the corner of the room. We can arrange that. You want to try? Would you mind if? He Are you asking me to masturbate, or uh, have, have I been if masturbating? If he does it, if he turns his back to the camera, would that be good enough? Do we have the uh, Robert? Are you even here, or did you go home? Are you here? Could we please have a close-up of our caller's cock? <laughs> Full sign chats. Uh. Poolside Chats. Who is this? Best. Who is this? Merry Christmas, uh, pick, huh? Picking up Poolside Chats. Uh, yeah, I'd like pepperoni and Hawaiian with the Canadian bacon. This is some dude from North Carolina. Poolside Chats. Uh, yes, I have a question for you, Eric. Eric, you got a question for I you? I don't know. Who are you? Specific. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? What's wrong with you? Where are you from? You okay? They hung up. They yeah, he gets so nervous around here. Poolside chat. He had a great little bit he was going to do. Hello, gorgeous. Who are you? <laughs> My name's Erica. Erica. It's Eric's daughter, Erica. This one's for me. You had What's an up? ejaculation that led to this wonderful daughter. She's 20 years old. How old are you, Eric? Huh? I'm, I'm 42. 42 in this. How old are you, Erica? 19. Just the way he likes it. This is your daughter. Hi, honey. How have you been? I'm good. How are you doing, sweetie? Tell Pep Pep how you are. What? Tell Pep Pep how you are. Tell Pep Pep how I am. What? Just ask pep, your pep. question and get it off your chest. Uh, my question is, what's on the orange sweater? I, there's a picture, but I can't see it. This is called a rascal. There's so many close-ups. And if you've watched the whole show, you'd know the whole story. Tim made this shirt for me. I'm an activist for rascals. Tim used to kill rascals, and now he doesn't. So he made this for me. My wife and I breed them at home. And that's about it, Erica. That's cool. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. Uh, I love Beatloaf and Annette and Tim. They're all in the chat and we're all watching you guys. I love you too. I'm on the chat too. I get I get to put my earpiece. I just want to say I'm not I'm not contributing vocally to the chat room, but I am listening to all the stuff you guys are saying. Hey, Erica, take a screenshot of this and make it your avatar. Yeah, that actually would be a great idea. Hey, Internet. Get up on the close-up so I can do print screen. Just fucking now print. we're just doing whatever anyone wants to do. If anyone calls you fucking in, now. Erica is like jump in the pool, and I guess we'll jump in the pool. Erica, Erica, you are Prince so Remus. sensual. Make this an avatar. Poolside chats. Who is this? Matt. Matt, you're kidding. No, it is. You really, Matt? Yes. What is your What is your fur, What is your last name? Look at that uh, wart. Oh, uh, like get it away. Johnson or Jones? It's Con. Con. Matt Con.
Yes. Were you on Star Trek The Next Generation in Star the Trek second II, series? Star Trek The Wrath of Khan. That wasn't me. Matt Khan. Right, why are we talking to you, Matt? What do you have to offer this show to make this better? Because it is a disaster. The show is well, horrible. I'm, I'm, I, I'm planning on going to the Awesome Show Tour. Nice. In, uh, in New York. Oh, that is going to be a good show. Yeah, February 26th. So we could get a little teaser of what we can expect. What are you guys going to do? We do this hilarious bit, and I don't mind us jumping into it right now. Do it. Do it's, it. Called the yes, it's called the Yes No Improv. And if anyone's familiar with classic improv, it's a bit where we only use the words yes and no. It's an old classic but bit. We do a bit where we say we're walking into an old time saloon, and this is about a 45 minute bit, but we'll just do like a minute of it here. You I'm mind in. jumping into it? I'm in. Um, we're in an old time saloon. I'm a cowboy, he's a saloon operator. But we can only use the words yes and no, so this is kind of funny. Watch this. Start the scene. No. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. 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 No. So that's just a little touch. Just a touch. <laughs> it's going to be like an hour and a half of that. Matt, you got a preview of that, huh? Yeah, that sounds great. I can't wait. And we are, we are officially going to start upping the price of that. Matt, have you ever put your testicles on a scale? I haven't. How much do they weigh? You know, I hate you, Matt. <laughs> Poolside chance. Oh, yes, hi. This is Spencer from Laguna Beach, California. I don't believe you, Spencer. It's a great, funny voice. I love guys that can do good voices. Can I have a question? This guy is incredible. He's incredible. Spencer, oh. you are amazing. Spencer, we love you. Spencer. It's like listening well, to Rich Little at his best. Oh, thank you, man. You are the Rich Little of 2007. Oh, thank you. Spencer is amazing. Spencer, you're talented. <laughs> you what are so good. You're talented. What Spencer, you blow our minds. We hate you. Good night. Uh, poolside Chance. All right. We lost them. Poolside Chance. Hi, Tim and Eric. Hey. Who are you? Hi, my name's Christy. Christy? That is a very hot name. Oh, Where are you calling you. from? Hey, I have a hot question <coughs> for you. You have about a hot your question? Rascal? Yeah, Christy. What's your favorite sexual position with the rat? All right, Christy, you know, we boring, don't, we don't, boring, we don't, we boring. don't have filth calls on this show. All right, this is the last, we have two more calls and that's it. Poolside Chance, who are you? Oh, uh, yes, this is Ty Becker from Minnesota, and I'm wondering what part of the world uh, uh, rascals are native to? Now, rascals come from Southeast Asia originally, as we know, know, you know, as far as we know. But there has been spottings in South America and in uh, Tasmania. Okay. Thank you for, uh, thanks for answering my question. That was the second to last what, question. What city in Minnesota are you? Do you live in St. Cloud? Uh, no, I'm actually near, um, I'm actually near Minneapolis. Really? What town are you in? Uh, Chanhassen. I got AIDS there. Poolside Chats. Hello, guys. Hey, you're our final caller Spencer. of the night, you garbage piece of shit. Yeah, I hate you. All the best. All the best. Uh, Jets, the final call of the night. Who are you? Uh, hi, this is um, John. I was going to say, um, the show was kind of weird tonight, but take off your head and do a fucking barrel roll, all right? John, you are despicable, and you are one of the worst people I've ever heard from. Who is this? Line four. Pool sign chance. Okay, this is getting worse and worse. Pool sign chance. <laughs> pool sign chance. Well, pool sign chance. The war on terrorism, what do you think about it? What do you guys think? Can you, can you fight Al-Qaeda? What about 9-11? Can you reverse that? I somehow? say we throw in the towel. Can you reverse 9-11? We've just done all we can, and let's move on. Yeah, Eric and I <laughs> All right. Poolside chance. I was wondering how many Philly cheesesteaks that Eric can eat. That's my oh, number. That's our town. That's my Philly. number. Hootie ho. That's my number. Hootie ho. That's my number. Hootie ho. That's my number. Hootie ho. That's Temple my House. number. Hootie ho. That's Temple House. Lorenzo's Pizza. Yeah, Lorenzo's great, right? Yeah, Lorenzo's big pies. Get it on. Yo, extra large pies. Don't ask for mm. toppings. What about Gianna? Have you ever been to Gianna's pizza? Gianna's uh, pizza? Hey, Philly? Give it up, guys. You guys are the worst guests. I don't care what anybody else says. Oh. You're already right silly, all right? Peace. Camden. Camden all the way, huh? Oh. Cool side chats. Yo, Neil, what's up, man? I got a question for you. I got an answer for you, which is that you make me sick. You are the worst caller who ever called in. What do you have to say? 
Well, first of all, I'm honored. Thank you very much, man. I, me and my friends watch your show all the time. We're huge fucking fans. We've been watching since the Buzzo episode. Where, where do your um, friend? What do your friends work at? Are they on welfare? Uh, close. They work at Fridays. So, um. TGI Fridays. Uh, huh? What's your question, huh? Well, my question is, do you ever plan on coming to Florida in the near future at all? Because I'll go see you for sure. Where do you live in? I think you live in Philadelphia. Where do you live? Philadelphia, Florida? That's not a town. No, no, no. Miami, Florida. I'm going to be in Miami in a few months. You are? Well, awesome, man. Uh, as soon as you put it up on your MySpace, I'll check it out and I'll be there. Thanks a lot, bro. Hey, no problem, wow. huh? You what a sick great call. motherfucker. What a waste Full side of my chance. time. You are the last call of the night. Tim and Eric, please. We got them on here on the line. What do you right have to here. say to them? Right here. Oh, they're on. Uh, we were just wondering about rascals. What? It's been covered. It's been covered. Uh, let them speak. What's your question? Yes, sir. Uh, I can't wait till you guys come back to Chicago. We'll be bringing rascals to Chicago. Yes, we are touring with one rascal, and we've got him pretty well trained. Um, we've gotten him to say a few fun key words. He can go, he can go yes, keep, and keep your... No! Keep your fingers away from the cage. Poolside chats, I hate you. Hey, I'm from North Carolina. I think it looks like somebody combed all over your hair. I'm right. tired of you making fun of my home state. All right, your home state is horrible. Poolside chats. Drop the bomb on Whoa. it. I hate you. Poolside chats. Hey, is the tour uh, coming to Detroit? Good night. Good night. Poolside, poolside chats. All right, this show's over. Poolside chance. Oh, what Pool side chance. Someone faxed us something. Poolside chance. Neil, when are you coming to Philly, Neil? Philly. When are we coming to Philly? When you slice your head off. Because I will not come to a town in which you're alive. Poolside chance. Hello? Yeah, what? All right. Well, Unbelievable. So they called us. <laughs> Well, poolside chats. Going into Find the call hour. Dinner. <laughs> poolside chats. Pool, poolside chats. Hello. Hello. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna asshole. On, we're we're going to be on you coast to coast. Piece tonight. of shit. What do you have to? Brian from Alameda. I have a question for Tim and Eric. You yeah, already he, called. What? Well, what? bag. Well, I I I didn't call already. I... Oh, some other scumbag called from Alameda. From your garbage town. Oh uh, yeah, well, it's garbage town. The... What are you? What's your question, huh? Well, Stand I mean, back. I have a question for Tim and Eric. What do you I have need? a question for you. Why do you live in Alameda? It's horrible. Uh, oh, because uh, it's uh, where my parents live. I'm trying to save up. So you live with your oh, parents? Oh, the whole life story. What's your problem? Why do you have something? Well, you're sick. What? Poolside chats. Hello. Hey, gorgeous. How are, who are you? An 11 year old boy. This is Kathleen. Oh. Kathleen. Kathleen. Oh, yeah. Kathleen, check Kathleen. the sweater out now. It's not so baggy. Kathleen, have you ever had diarrhea? Hey, everyone's what? had diarrhea. Have I ever had diarrhea? Yes, yes. Everyone's Come had on, diarrhea. everyone's had it. Of course I've had the thirsty squirt. Oh, not, that's disgusting. Kathleen, you're making me sick. We thought you were sensuous, but in fact you're disgusting. Poolside chats. All right, we hate you too. Poolside chats. All right, fuck you. Poolside chats. I want to find out about that. 2007 psychic prediction. Oh, easy. That's a great question, actually. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Tony. Hey, Tony. Such the wrong show. Tony, do you ever do you laugh every time someone asks what your name is? Yes. What's so funny about your dumb name? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Say your name again without laughing. Tony, I'm drinking. <laughs> What's your last name, Tony? Wait, should this end? Oh, I can't say horrible. that. You know, what? everybody be calling me. It's, I really your name's glad it. you this called me? Horrible. Everybody be calling me. Yeah, everybody be calling you. Tony, we don't like you. Poolside chats. Poolside chats. Poolside chats. La, la, flu, hi. Hello. Hey, guy. You're so incredible. <laughs> You're incredible. You're incredible. Are you on right now? We're no, on right we're now, you right now. piece of shit. You oh. scumbag. Your anus so smells so can bad. We can Canada. smell it from here all the way in Hollywood. Poolside chats. Hello. Yeah, what? Get it over with. Hey, who, who is it? Who are you? You you make me sick. Just get into it fast. Hey, who the fuck, are, who the fuck is this? Who, who the fuck is this? Fuck you! Are you a piece this? of garbage? Who are you calling? Garbage fucking scumbag. Let me guess, you from North Carolina. Shit. 
You from North Carolina? Yeah, I'm from um, from North Carolina. I hate you. Use your brain, you fucking everyone. dick. Poolside chats. Gary Busey. And for Eric. Yeah. Question for Eric. This is the last question. Could, uh, you know, I could find the recipe for those chicken riblets. Oh. Just dip your fingers in hot sauce and eat your own fingers. Just commit suicide and fucking eat yourself. Bury yourself in a coffin that your mother might have already made for you the day after you were okay, born. Hey, I gotta get a pen and a paper. What's Just kill your sister and like eat you. her fucking side chat. legs. Hey, it's Little Ham from Canada. Little Ham! Hey, Brad! Little Ham? Yeah! <gasps> no fucking kidding. Yeah. Rob, Rob Dayton from Canada. Yeah! What are you, why you are you even watching this is? garbage? Rob this is Dayton. horrible. You know, uh, you Ken Ham. 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 Love oh, Ken Ham. Ham. How are you? Ham. I'm great. I've got a delay on the computers. I don't know what's going on. What did I miss on the show? I now we'll wrap it up. We can wrap well, it up. It's real Rob, quick. you're going to be our last caller. What do you have to say? I just want to know like what I've missed so far on this show because I just tuned in. I was kind of mind Neil. I, Kim vomited. I uh, Eric had uh, salmonella poisoning. Well, I memorized the entire call-in show since we began, uh -huh. and I can say We're it. We're here, from Robert. Verbatim, I can say it. Love from you the guys. Beginning. Mike Higgy from Daiquiri is here, Robert. Oh, I miss you, Mike. I miss all you guys. Everybody Mike, wave at the phone. Vancouver Wednesday night and play a show. Mike, we're waving at you. No, 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 no that's Neil, Robert. Pat, Rob, Pat. Ken Ham. All the best. Large Ken man. Are you guys going to have Ken Ham on your show? Oh, Wednesday night and play. play. <laughs> I will say for certain that we won't. Oh. But, but <laughs> we think you're great. Robert, we, where... <laughs> It's a respect. I'm wearing my hat off to you, teacher, right now. Tom's reps. Tom! Tom Green is here tonight. Tom Green. How are you guys finishing up? Yeah, we want to because this is horrible. The call the call's coming Rex Murphy. Hello. Tom Green. Hey, who's this? Hi, this is Kaylin from Oakland. Kato? I hate you, Kaylin. You're a piece of garbage. Kato Kaylin. How did the show go? I was just wondering, yeah. I thought it your, your comedy is really off the wall, so, oh. I mean, what influence do you off guys... Off the chain. So we were influenced by the Tom Green show. What? Was our, the, the Canadian show, version. The only show Tom we had Green seen. Was, so. You download it. You go to a torrent site and get all the old clips. You can get it on VHS at the def now defunct Tower Records. <laughs> you just steal it. They have an okay. open door policy do you have down a, there. Do you have VD? <laughs> Uh, poolside yeah, Chats also, with we Tom Green. We also have Green. a store, actually, oh, yeah. uh, on TomGreen.com. Tom Green's here. A store. Uh, you can go there, and you can put your credit card number in there, and you can buy the old stuff. You can put in your credit card, and then you save the number, so whenever they come back, they don't have to go through that process. Poolside yeah, Chats. <laughs> put that anywhere. Put poolside that anywhere. Chats with All Tom Green. Post-break uh, of glass. Uh, i got to get some plastic glasses out here. I really well, like chats. I've been meaning to get some Tom. plastic glasses. What? Tom, I love you. What's that? He loves you. I love you, Tom. Oh. Another North Carolina call. I love you, too. And I hate you, Neil. All right. Good night. <laughs> Fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Poolside Chats, garbage fucking piece of sh garbage shit. Who is this? Poolside hey, Chats. Can you pick up this glass before someone gets yeah. it? Yeah, I know, because the dog. It's cutting my shoe. Dangerous. It's very close Go, to cutting my shoe. First, Poolside Chats. We're concentrating on being comedians here. Poolside chats. Someone get down on all fours and clean the Poolside side chats. Up. One of the one of hey, these very it's Tim Miller people. again. Tim Miller. Tim Miller. Tim, this is a lucky day oh, for us because Tim Miller comes twice. We're concentrating on being funny and not worrying about not cutting ourselves. Who is this? Hey, hey Tom. Look how funny um, we're being. Get a call for you. Hello? It's Tim Miller. It's Tim Miller. Uh, you know, get in here, Bill, and clean this up, goddammit, or someone's going to cut them. I got it. There's a shirt right here. He's going to lean right into it. Well, I didn't really have a question. Right into it. Stuff, I didn't get that yeah. out of there. Yeah. Get the class out of there before <laughs> Go ahead. We're paying full attention to you. I know. I can tell that. Jesus. Um, Bill, do your goddamn job. Tim Miller. Uh, what? Jesus Mike. Christ. Come on. Miller, put the, put the question into two or Mike three sentences. Mike from Daiquiri, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, Mill. Everybody's bought the Daiquiri album. <laughs> Everybody. Everyone has this album. They all went to nightruiner.com. And Tim. The yes. <laughs> What's happening, Brad? Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, bro. Wow. You North Carolina garbage boy. Am I the only one watching still? You're the, you're the only gifted, retarded man in the planet. Fuck you, huh? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Cut the Best broadcast. Huh? Show reruns. It was a giant waste of my time. Horrible. <laughs>